Now something I see people struggling with a lot on iPhones and iPads is using multiple keyboards. You can have all these different keyboards installed in your device but switching between them can sometimes be difficult. So here I am on the main keyboard, the US English keyboard, the default one. It's probably the one you recognize. And I'm in the Notes app and I want to switch to another keyboard. Now you probably have at least two keyboards installed. The standard keyboard and the emoji keyboard. So when I tap the key that changes keyboards it will go to the next one in the list. The key is that globe key down at the bottom almost all the way to the left. If I tap that I go to the next keyboard which is emoji. And this is a very different type of keyboard. You can scroll through all the different emoji. There's favorites and recents and things at the bottom. Um, and you can use this to type at least those characters. Now to go to the next keyboard you want to press the same button. But where is that globe button? It's not here because every keyboard can be different in what that button looks like and where it is. The emoji keyboard confusingly has that button looking like the letters A, B, C and it's all the way at the bottom left. So it's the same key. If I tap it I go to the next keyboard which in this case is Gboard, a third party keyboard from Google. Um, and you can see this keyboard looks different as well. There is a globe button there and that is indeed the key that I would use to go to the next keyboard. It's a different looking globe button than before. Tap that, I go to my fourth keyboard, which is a third party keyboard called Hemingboard, and you can see there's the glow button in the same position, fortunately, but it still looks a little differently. If I tap again, you can see I go all the way back to the first one, which is the standard keyboard, and you can see how the globe looks differently there as well. So you can basically tap that key as long as you know where to find it in each keyboard to cycle through them. You can also tap and hold and bring up a menu. Now in this case in the standard keyboard I get keyboard settings at the top of the menu and I have a list of keyboards and I can jump right to one. So for instance I can jump to Gboard very easily. But here if I tap and hold the globe I get different options. I still get settings at the top although it says settings instead of keyboard settings. And I got uh, some different options here and where it says English US that's actually a choice of language inside of Gboard, not to switch that keyboard. But I can tap the next keyboard button and go. So I can't just jump to any keyboard that way. In Hemingboard, I get a whole set of controls here. So it's basically tap and hold that button to get settings. If I go to the emoji keyboard and I tap and hold there, I get the same set of controls as the main keyboard. So I can go uh, back to the main one that way. Now, keyboard settings from the main keyboard will actually take you to your settings app right to keyboards. And here you've got your main settings. You also can tap where it says keyboards and this is where you can add a new keyboard. So you can see your list of there's the four keyboards I've got. Add a new keyboard at the bottom and that will recognize any apps that have keyboards attached to them. That's the way you get third party apps, uh, third party keyboards is you download an app and the app has a keyboard associated. So search for keyboards in the App Store. If I hit edit I can switch the order by dragging, grabbing the right side where those three lines are. I can also delete a keyboard if I want from the list. So that's how you decide which order things are, which keyboards you've got visible, and also uh, how you switch between them using that special button that's usually towards the bottom left side of the keyboard. <laughs>